How's everyone on else doing out there? All right, let's get this going because I want to get out of here. Actually, it is cooler in here, though. One more night of tossing and turning remaining hot for tomorrow. Hopefully, a shower will cool us down. By Sunday, some relief from the old heat. Well, not much going on in Happy Valley, but there is some uh, excessive heat warnings going on down there. I don't know if you can see it in uh, southeastern New York State. And look at this, we got a thunderstorm watch right here in western Pennsylvania. Maybe it'll visit us and cool us down some, but that's highly unlikely. I believe it's better for Sunday. All right, let's check this out right here. Still some toasty temperatures out there. A lot of these cities hit 100 degrees today, and they're going to do it for tomorrow. And who do you know over there in San Francisco? We're at 63 cool degrees, and if you ever go there, Make sure you wear flowers in your hair. That's an old song, but this is an old show. All right, check this out. Here's what we're counting on right here. Not only for the farmers and the uh, grass, the lawns, but maybe this will cool us down. But like I said, a better chance of these for tomorrow. And one good thing out of this, our lawns are all burnt, so at least we don't have to mow them. All right, check this out. 82 degrees. We're some two degrees cooler than we were last night at this time. We're calm, humidity 42%, not bad, and the dew points are getting lower. That's some good news. And we still have a waning gibbous out there. Here's your almanac, if you care. 93, no records today. We came a couple degrees for even tying it. It was 95 and 55. We hit that record yesterday, though. Uh, 77 last night, where we tossing and turning, and there's your sun times right there. More temperatures around the region. Rochester, 84. Syracuse, 80. Utica, 78. Up at the lake, 71. And who do you know over there at the Grassroots Festival? It's a festival over there in Trumansburg, New York. And who do you know in Norwich where Steve Craig left us? He's no longer here. He took a job up at the Chamber of Commerce there. We'll, we'll miss him. All right, check this out. Here's how these uh, hot air masses form. Obviously, the sun heats up the ground, and then the ground heats up the air. Now, when you live in the desert where there's no vegetation, well, a lot of it uh, gets in there quicker. But there's some dry ground around this area here. All right, and now this heat stuff can't be taken too lightly. Here's the weather fatalities per year on a 10-year average. Those who uh, die from the cold, 25, 39 from lightning. I thought it would be tornadoes and floods, 71 and 56. Now, look at that, 115 from the heat. That's not good, folks. Here's what we can expect for tomorrow. Well, we're just hoping for this cooler air to get in here, possibly a thunderstorm for tomorrow. That may cool us, off, cool us off a little bit. The humid air will be in place, and we're just waiting for this for Sunday. All right, this forecast is dedicated for all the dogs in the neighborhood that went to the ice cream truck today. Is that, those your dogs, Larry? That's your dogs. That's Larry's dogs right there. We'll take it from there. Clear to partly cloudy, warm, moderately humid, as opposed to miserable. 70 degrees tonight. For tomorrow, partly sunny, hot. Humidity starts to rise up a little bit. Maybe a couple of showers and thunderstorms to cool us off. 90 and for tomorrow night. Fair sky, still a chance of a pop-up shower. It'll be a little bit cooler. 64 and we're coming right back with a five day. All right, for Sunday, we reach uh, for some relief, and we get it, 82. Monday, 83. Tuesday, 80s, getting close to the 70 mark. Maybe a pop-up pop shower for all those days, with the exception of Wednesday. It'll be sunny and pleasant, 82 and 61. So all we got to do is get through Saturday here. All right, back to two good-looking guys on the set.